I mean, it is spicy, and it is pretty- Oh! Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. <laughs> uh, let me explain. <laughs> I promise. Uh, let me explain. Yes. Um, previously on the Osrin Tales Live D&D, &D, uh, our heroes are employed as caravan guards traveling north from Asari to the human town of Anchor on the border of Amirius and Aelin. Uh, they have traveled about two weeks and are nearing the Great Bridge when Ajahar notices something strange while out on his duties as a forward patrol for the caravan. The sound of war drums and smoke from many campfires are coming from the woods west of the road. He circles back to the caravan and gets it to stop and then takes the rest of the members of Sega with him to investigate. They discover a band of bugbears and goblins camped out with undead minions. They are doing a war dance and getting ready for battle. A few of our heroes recognize their war banners as the clan of goblins that worked for Juzan and had fled the Black Reach after they defeated their devilish leader about one year ago. Tail tries to parlay with the bugbear guards as he knows goblish and pretends to kill Rowan as a sign of good faith. Tail uses his pasta magics to make it seem like Rowan bled out, but when the bugbear tastes the faux blood pasta sauce, he simply remarks, Me likey spicy blood, and takes Tail to see the war chief. The war chief, Guna Balgal, explains that the bugbears want to take control of the great bridge from the hobgoblins that live on the north side of the bridge, and they are preparing for war. After some negotiations and lies about a human army coming from the south, Tail gets the bugbears to hold off on going to war, but the rest of his plan was not able to come to fruition as Rowan, now presumed dead, snuck into the camp with Quothe and set fire to the chief's longhouse. Our heroes then proceed to murder most of the goblin clan and their undead minions, while some of the more cowardly goblins escaped. Our heroes succeeded in destroying most of the clan and the caravan had a nice place to camp for the night. But what lies in wait across the bridge? And what will happen while they are vulnerable crossing that bridge that is 30 miles long? Find out now on the next episode of the Osrin Tales Live D&D. Enjoy the show.